Do reindeers have real powers? Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and lover of pop culture, often combine my passions into one. Today, we're gonna explore the wonderful world of reindeer by sharing five unique adaptations that you need to see to believe. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. First up, the eyes of reindeer, or caribou, depending where in the world you're at. Those reindeer that live in the Arctic Circle, well, they gotta handle a huge range of light levels, from 24 hours of sunlight in the summer, whew, that sounds lovely, to 24 hours of darkness in the winter. Not so nice. So their eyes have real powers to be able to handle those extreme light levels. Not only is their eye placement and pupil shape beneficial for keeping an eye on predators and for food, but their eyes change color in the seasons. In the winter, their eyes look more blue in coloration. This is because their pupils are permanently dilated, which leads to less light being reflected back out of the eye, which comes in handy for seeing things at night. Their eyes can also see into the UV range, which is nifty because there are high UV levels in the polar regions because of the reflection of snow and ice. In fact, many species of lichen, which is the reindeer's favorite winter snack, actually absorb UV. But also, one of their fiercest predators, wolves, their fur can absorb UV as well, which means reindeers being able to see UV wavelengths can spot not only their favorite grub, but also potential predators. Now, speaking of lichen, reindeer have a unique adaptation amongst mammals. They are the only known mammal species to have the enzyme lichenase in their stomachs. This enzyme helps the reindeer's stomach to be able to break down lichen into glucose. Now, as one can imagine, it gets quite cold up in the Arctic. And so to help, reindeer actually have two layers to their coats. They have a thick woolly undercoat, but then also a top layer of hollow hairs, just like polar bears, to help with insulation. But it's just not their body that is covered in fur. Oh no, their nose is furry too. And it has a really cool, well, not literally, internal heat exchange system. Get this, breathing in cold air, probably not the best idea. Enter in this cool system where each breath is warmed on its way to the lungs, but then equally cooled as it is exhaled so that water vapor is condensed before it can be released into the air. And it's not just the bodies or the noses of the reindeer that have fur, but also their hooves. Reindeer have fur on the bottom of their hooves as well. This helps them from slipping on icy ground. The underside of their hoof is pretty snazzy because it's hollowed out to help them dig through snow to get to grub. This technique is called cratering. But oddly enough, it's not just the eyes of the reindeer that change with the seasons, but also the pads of their hooves. In the summer, they are softer and thicker to help them walk on marshy ground. But then during the winter time, they get harder and thinner, exposing more of the hoof to give them a better grip alongside, of course, the fur. So what do you think? Are reindeers amazing? There's a lot more to them than meets the eye. Let me know down in the comments below which adaptation you thought was the coolest. To keep your adventure going, why not check out my Pokemon animal playlist right here to see some other cool animals that have some real life powers. Go and click it, I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays.